The boundaries defined by UN for Israel and Palestine. The boundaries defined by the United Nations, UN, for Israel and Palestine were laid out in the UN Partition Plan for Palestine, adopted by the UN General Assembly on November 29, 1947, through Resolution 181, 2. The plan aimed to address the escalating conflict between Jewish and Arab communities in Palestine by partitioning the territory into separate Jewish and Arab states, along with an internationally administered corpus separatum for Jerusalem. According to the UN Partition Plan, the proposed boundaries for the Jewish and Arab states were as follows. 1. Jewish State The Jewish state was to comprise roughly 55% of the territory of mandatory Palestine, including parts of the Galilee, the coastal plain, and the Negev Desert. The major Jewish population centers, such as Tel Aviv and Haifa, were to be part of the Jewish state. 2. Arab State The Arab state was to encompass approximately 45% of mandatory Palestine, including parts of the Galilee, the West Bank, excluding Jerusalem, and the Gaza Strip. The Arab state was also proposed to have a majority Arab population. 3. Internationalized Jerusalem the city of Jerusalem, including its surrounding areas, was to be designated as a separate international entity under the auspices of the United Nations. Jerusalem was to be administered by a special international regime with guaranteed access to holy sites for all religious groups. It is important to note that while the UN Partition Plan provided a framework for the establishment of separate Jewish and Arab states, it was rejected by Arab leaders and accepted by Jewish leaders. The plan was never implemented due to the outbreak of the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, which resulted in the establishment of the State of Israel and the subsequent territorial changes as a result of the war. As a result, the boundaries of Israel and the territories designated for a Palestinian state have remained subject to ongoing negotiations and disputes between Israelis and Palestinians. With various peace initiatives and diplomatic efforts aimed at achieving a two-state solution based on the pre-1967 borders, modified borders, or other arrangements. Present situation. Present area of occupation by Israel and difference from UN declaration. As of my last update, the area occupied by Israel and the differences from the UN declaration of 1947 have undergone significant changes due to various historical events, including wars, peace agreements, and ongoing settlement activities. Here is an overview. 1. Occupied Territories Israel currently occupies several territories that were not part of the boundaries designated by the UN in 1947. These include The West Bank Israel captured the West Bank, including East Jerusalem, during the Six-Day War in 1967. Since then, Israel has maintained control over these territories, despite international condemnation and calls for their withdrawal. Gaza Strip Although Israel withdrew its military and settlements from the Gaza Strip in 2005, it still maintains control over its borders, airspace and territorial waters, effectively maintaining an occupation. Golan Heights Israel captured the Golan Heights from Syria during the Six-Day War and effectively annexed the territory in 1981. The international community does not recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights. 2. Settlements Israel has constructed settlements in the occupied territories, particularly in the West Bank, in violation of international law. These settlements are considered illegal under the Fourth Geneva Convention, which prohibits the transfer of civilian populations into occupied territories. The expansion of settlements has led to the fragmentation of Palestinian territories, and has been a major obstacle to peace negotiations. 3. Differences from UN Declaration The area currently controlled or occupied by Israel far exceeds the boundaries designated by the UN in 1947. The UN Partition Plan allocated roughly 55% of mandatory Palestine to a Jewish state, while the rest was designated for an Arab state. However, Israel has expanded its territory through military conquest and settlement activity, resulting in de facto control over significant portions of what was intended to be the Arab state. Number 4. International recognition. The international community, including the United Nations and most countries, does not recognize Israel's sovereignty over the occupied territories. Numerous UN resolutions, 
such as UNSC Resolution 2242 and Resolution 338, call for the withdrawal of Israeli forces from the territories is occupied in 1967, and the establishment of a Palestinian state alongside Israel based on the pre-P-1967 borders, with mutually agreed land swaps. In summary, Israel's occupation of territories beyond the boundaries defined by the UN in 1947, particularly in the West Bank, Gaza Strip, and Golan Heights, remains a contentious issue in the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and a major obstacle to achieving a lasting peace agreement based on a two-state solution.